this, you know, and I just want to be better than all my friends. I was like, pretty much the first thing. So through that, throughout that, I was like, yeah, I'm going to practice Dragon Ball, play as much as I can. And I'm having fun. So I'm going to play as much as I can, practice that game. And then one thing led to another. And then, you know, now I'm here. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I just like want them to scrap the game and try again because <laughs> this ain't it. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of getting super dashed, like, rough lag. Just, just start over. Like you guys, start over. Make a better game. You guys could do it, I believe. I, I truly, truly do not believe that is hype. Real shit, I just I just sat there and was like, damn, who on Twitter wanted this one? So I like so I was just like, yeah, you 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 got it. Whatever you wanted, bro, because clearly you guys not listen to a word I said. <laughs> It had to be because nobody, nobody in their right mind could have ever wanted that. Not me, no, no. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely nobody knows writing games. Yes. Um, so with Strive, funny enough, it was more of a pride thing than anything else. Like, I, I booted up Strive, and I was like, you know, when Strive first came out, uh, yeah, 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 exactly, it was that kind of thing. So, I was like, hmm, I, I was thinking, I was all like, uh, I think I could do it, and you know, you know how it is. So there's like, nah, it's not, you can't do it. Dragon Ball, you start Dragon Ball, you can't do it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I'll just do it. You know, I got nothing better to do. I, I'll, I'll do it. And one thing, you know, I, I'm here. I kind of like the game because obviously I kept playing the game. I like the game. And I only like it because I'm just like, well, for one, the characters are really cool and the mechanics are really cool. And like, I can play the game, and I can stop people from being stupid, which you can't really do in Dragon Ball. Yeah. Yeah, like, you could play footsies if you want to, like. Yeah. Exactly.
I, I, for Dragon Ball, I had more than enough time in the limelight, personally. Like, it was fun, but, you know, um, having, it was fun having everything, like, you know, like, hey, we need you to win this, this, and that, but, you know, I'd rather that in a game that I would actually want to play, so, you know. Oh, for sure, I want to. For sure, I want to win that one day. But you know, one day when I'm good enough, hopefully I can. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, for sure. Like, it just it just takes time. Just nothing wrong with that. Um, to be fair, like, I think it's really hard for you to, um, be too late to get into a fighting game. Like, I, I see people play, like, BBCF, like, very new to it, and, like, be very good at it. I see people play Skullgirls, like, Meezy's a... A uh, specific one who's played Skullgirls, played it late, but was getting really good at it really fast. So, I don't think it's ever really, like, too late to get into a fighting game. I think the most you could ever say, like, the most fighting game you could ever say, hey, it's way too late for me, it would be something like, maybe, maybe, like, Tekken when it was, like, at its last year or something. Um, it's cool, I guess, but like, you know, I'm not, I'm not really like, hey, this is, if you're a legacy player, you're, you're, a, you're a fucking god, like, I'm sitting here like, if you're a legacy player, you're just fucking old, bro, shit. Yeah, uh, I um, yeah, I like, I was thinking I was thinking about that shit too myself. Cause I was just like, oh shit, like, like yeah, this episode might be a little bit scuffed. Cause I didn't realize I didn't realize my mic was when it was not recording, but it'd be like that sometimes. I don't care. Mm -hmm. like, it's just it's just more more so about the knowledge of it's more about the knowledge that you're giving out more so than you know me talking. But like yeah, um, <laughs> like but like another thing is. Another thing I want to get into about, like, you know, fighting games and stuff like that, you know, where we both come from, basically, like, you know, the same sensei, you know, no Kami. I hope he's doing well. But, yeah, like, shout you know, out to the GOAT. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Like, you know, I just want to say, like, how, what, how was your experience in in fight, in the FGC? Like, how do you feel, like, you know, you feel like you have left your mark in the FGC? Do you feel like you did that yet? I mean, like... If anything, I mean, I I wouldn't say I've left a mark. Um, if a, if I did leave a mark, it would probably be like, hey, I was the main person in North America fighting against France. Mm -hmm. You know, I was I was Wawa's main. You know, the main person fighting Wawa. In like every single tournament, I guess that would be like the best thing, you know. Haha, -ha, Wawa's punchy bag, that's me. <laughs> My god, bro, that's crazy. I was like, bro, I was like, bro, because I've been watching you play in like you know, high level Dragon Ball, high level fighting games in general. Because 
you know, we had our, you know, we played, we played a bunch of games, like, like, Blizz Blue and stuff together and stuff like that. I was like, bro, man, this guy is improving, like, really good. He's playing one of the hardest characters in the game. He's improving really fast, really well. I'm just like, dude, this guy is actually broken. <laughs> and that's you're broken, bro. Like, you, I feel like you can do anything you put your mind to, honestly, because it's just, because like, when we play CL, you play Izanami, I'm just like, bro, this guy. You're, you're, you're really cracked because I, I have respect for anybody that plays Izanami. Like, let's be honest here. She's so lit. She is lit. Wow, my bro. I, I can't I, I can't do 720s. I cannot <laughs> do 720s inputs for that shit to save my life, bro. I'm like, bro. I was trying out to be in Grand Blue, which, you know, we'll get into that shortly. But uh, I was trying out to be in Grand Blue, and I was just like, bro, like, I was getting my 720s, like, semi-consistent. I can't do that shit consistently to the point, to the, to the point that it's just like, yeah, I can play Izanami and I can play her well. I can't do that shit, bro. She's nah, like, ass. She, like, BBCF, since we're on the topic of it, mm -hmm. has some of the funnest characters I've ever played. And it was like, this is, this is so cool. Now you see why I like it now, right? You see, like, you see why it's so peak nah, to yeah. me? yeah. Yes, bro. It's, like, it's, it's, it's such crazy. a fun game. Yes, bro. I love that game so fucking much, bro. Like, I wanted to go to TNS9 just to commentate it because I was doing some color commentary while watching Frosties. I was getting, like, mad high. It was just Celica player going going crazy at Frosties. I was like, yo, shit, what the fuck? I'm like, bro, Celica fucking sucks, but he got, like, top, like, five with Celica. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> shit is crazy, bro. That's I'm, so crazy. Like, it's like, because, like, in CF, right, every character can do... Can every character, like, no matter how low tier a character is in quote unquote, you know, tier list and shit like that, no matter how quote unquote low tier a character is, I feel like, you know, anybody can fucking win with any say character and see if it's opposed to any other fighting game. Plus, there's a lot of not knowledge checks and matchup checks and stuff like that that, like, you know, people don't know, but people should know, and things like that that I feel like, you know, that makes, that makes the character, that makes the character very. Uh, that makes the character pool very, you know, diverse. Because <clears throat> when I used to watch CF, when I was, when I used to watch CF a lot, because, fun fact, by the way, I met Neo in 2015 or 16, I think. We were competing in CF, CF Netplay tournaments called Any Clash. That's how I met Neo, actually. That's how mm -hmm. I knew of him. It was, it was, a, it was like, you know, a long time ago. So I was just like, bro, like, uh, and then he he revealed his name. His name he had he used back then. I was like, oh, you're him. I was like, oh, that's you. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. But um, <clears throat> but I was like, you know, I I feel like you know like like in CF right, you know, you can play the same character but play completely different, which is my which is my main thing. Cause like I used to look at Ferris's Jin and Kizzy's Jin, and they used to play like. Like, like, totally different. Like, Ferris would just hit you with conditioning and shit. You know, like, 6A, things like that to make you, like, you know, like, check yourself. Like, Kizzy never really did that, per se. He did it, he did it sometimes, but he never really did it as much as, like, you know, Ferris would do it or things like that. You know, like, like I feel like CF is a really good game that, like, people really need to take note of because, like, every character in that game is the same yet different. Different yet, you know, the same because like people could play the same characters, but like you know, like play them completely differently, and I love that about that game in general. Yeah, like the diversity of the gameplay that you can get in that game is one of the best. Yeah, and care and character expression. I'm a big fan of character expression too. Like, that shit's crazy. <laughs> character expression, player expression. Things like that, like whatever you would like to call that, because you know it, it can yeah. be interchangeable. I know what you mean. <clears throat> yeah, cause I was like, bro, like, 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 cause like, like I said before, like you know, Ferris and Jen, uh, Ferris, Ferris Jen and Kizzy Jen, like they they express that character really differently, and I'm just like, yeah, oh yeah, and Days is Jen, Days played Jen too, so yes, um, before he became a yeah. dirty my player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I remember. I remember by his name. Thirteen plays. I mean, that's the goat right there. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah. I was like, damn, bro, that's just crazy. Like, us and this leads into the next thing. Like, right. Um, what is your stance on the new fighting games, and can they learn from Blaze Blue and have more character expression? I mean, I don't see why not. Like, 
I I think um, no matter like what everybody says about Shrive, like Shrive has really really strong character expression. Like when somebody when when you see Vanif playing like Val, Faust um, yeah. or like. Somebody playing Asuka and the ways they use them. Like, Asuka took a long time to develop. Zato took a while to develop. Mm -hmm. Like, you, 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 you can say all these characters have very good, like, character expression, very good moveset. But, you know, BCF is still the GOAT sometimes. Yeah. So you think Arceus yeah, like, games do the best with it, or...? Yes, yeah. very freely. Yeah. French Bread Games put me to sleep. Arxis Games, Triumphant. Yeah. Street Fighter is buns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, much, as, much as, I, as much as, you know, I like, you know, Legacy Street Fighter and stuff like that, things like that, I don't think Street Fighter Season was my cup of tea, honestly. I'm like more yeah, of an anime game player. It's too boring for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Three, I don't know too much about 3D games, so I can't say about, about Tekken. Yeah. But um, I feel like Tekken is more so stuck on a legacy thing than an actual, like, you know. Yeah. Like, like, if you play, like, Tekken 7 or Tekken 6, 5, 4, etc., you're going to like, like, you know, the new Tekken no matter what. Like, that's what I feel like anyway. Like, if you play, like, Tekken in the past, like, you know, stuff like that. What was your very first fighting game? Um, you'll never expect this, but it is um the the very first fighting game that I actually chose to learn. That was like not competing, but chose to learn. Yeah. Was Dead or Alive Five? DOA Five. Yes. Jeez, man, that'd be Dead or Alive Five. <laughs> Did you I, granted, I had played fighting games before that. I had played Injustice Two. Um, actually, I think that just might be it. I think it just <laughs> might be Injustice 2. No MK9, um, bro? Nah, I was never a big MK guy. Yeah, me neither. Like, neither I, I watched it, but I was just like, yeah, I wouldn't play it. Yeah, neither was I, bro. I was like, I, I, I only played it with, like, with friends and shit. I never really, like, you know, decided, like, yo, I'm about to play MK. I don't know wanted to boot up MK9 just for vibes. <laughs> so I was yeah, just like, but... bro. That's like, that was, uh, yeah, like it was just, that was the game for me for some reason. Like, I I, I had my reasons for playing Dead or Alive, for I mean, sure. The OA, the OA 5 was a good game. It was not because of the game. <laughs> <laughs> it was not the game. Oh, oh, oh I, I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. It was not that either. Uh, yeah, there was okay. definitely like, I, I only played it because this one girl was like playing the game and I was like, yeah, you want to learn it, cheeks, bro. You yeah. want to get some cheeks, bro. I feel I'm, that, bro. I'm obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was like, bro, if you had like, if you had a word of advice for any new fighting game player out there, what would you give them? Um, just, just play your game, bro. Like everybody, you, you know, there's gonna be like some. There's going to be some pool of players or some pool of Twitter play people, some pool of Twitch monsters, some pool of Twitter guys. And be like, this game sucks. This game is garbage. Why do you play this game? Just play your game, bro. Like, it doesn't matter. If you like the game, that's all that matters. Yeah. And if you were to go back to when you started Dragon Ball, what would you tell yourself? I would tell myself... There, there, there would be like a couple of things I tell myself. First things I tell myself is, dude, why the hell are you picking Goku Black? <laughs> why are you picking did. Beerus? <laughs> we all the Goku next thing I would tell myself good. is, you know, Sonic Fox lives in New York. I'd ask myself that question. Then after that, I'd be like, stop playing this game. Yeah. It's like they'll ruin it in the next four years. <laughs> and then, and then like you, you'll probably be like an extra player or some shit after like season two or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> be like, be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna play extra because this game is cap. 
I mean, I like cap shit. <laughs> I would I would not touch Exert with an eight foot pole, bro. <laughs> Yo, that whole game is cap, though. I, I'm I'm telling you that game is cap, bro. Do you try to tell me that shit is a good game, bro? With Danger Time in it, I'm like, okay. I myself. hate Danger, bro. I hated that shit, bro. Mortal Kombat under Danger Time, you're just dying. I'm like, bro, that game. That, yeah, I I I would never say Exert is a good game. I like Exert. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't say it's a good game with Danger Time in it, though. That, no. I, I, I hated Danger Time so much, but I wanted to play Exit because Exit was like the only, it was like one of the only games aside from Blaze Blue that I loved. That I loved to like win this to cap shit. <laughs> and then I realized that, you know, Daisuke worked on the game to, and then Daisuke made a lot of the OST for Blaze Blue. So I was like, oh shit. You know, I, 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 I wanted to beat it. <laughs> Because one of my very first, because Blaze Blue was actually one of the very first games I actually sat down, sat down and started to learn back in uh, uh, Calamity Tricker, actually. And I actually wanted to learn that game and, like, play the game a lot more. And when I, when I, started, when I did my first Air Dash, basically, I was like, yeah, this the one. <laughs> and this the one. <laughs> and then I started watching tournaments and shit like that. And then um, I remember the good old days of Blood Kane Ragnar. Having it installed and just like well, Ragnar having it installed, it was pretty hype, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> he was uh he was just doing like combos and shit. That shit was kind of fire. Bro. I was like, bro, Blood King Ragnar, I want that. I need that. I need, really I need kind of, to do sounds that. Sounds kind of sick, bro, man. Like, yo, man, I'm telling you, bro. If you look up, if you look up like Blood King Ragnar, like combos and shit, that that man had like a whole like TOD like. Like, like straight nonsense, bro. <laughs> it was nonsense. I love Blood King Rock. That's my shit, though. That was my favorite. That's one of my favorite things about Blaze Blue. It's just the fact of, like, every character is nonsense to the point that it's just, like, if who can out nonsense, you're nonsense. Yeah. I hear that. Because I was like, bro, <laughs> this shit crazy. So, like, um, another thing I want to ask you, uh, I have, like, about, like, two or three more questions, and I'll let you go, because I know Capcom Cup stream just started, cause I just came through over my phone, and all the Street Fighter players are going live, but, um, <clears throat> if you had the opportunity to, um, recommend any fighting game to anybody starting out, which one would you recommend? Any fighting game starting out, um... If you're starting out with a fighting game, and well, it depends on what you're looking for, mm-hmm. but just just stay away from MK1. Like you can find <laughs> anything else, just stay away from MK1. That game mm-hmm. does not work, function. <laughs> game definitely does not function. Like yeah, and I would, I would think uh, yeah, yeah. TOing that game, my god, it's a nightmare for online tournaments. Holy shit! I can only imagine. It's a fucking nightmare, bro. I hate it so much. Like, when, when Bum was doing it, I was like, no way, bro. This shit is this hard. <laughs> and I used to go to bed angry. Cause I used to be like, bro, there's no way this game is doing this and niggas are this stupid. It really just doesn't mess. It really doesn't mess well with me, bro. Because it, it's, it's, it's like... I feel sorry like, for you guys sometimes. like... There ain't no way that he got y'all T.O. in this shit when the game don't even work. I'm telling you, bro, bro. It's just like, you know, it's whatever, bro. It's, it's a job that needs to be done, and I'm willing to do the job, unfortunately. Listen, puts my, it puts money in my pockets, so, you know, the vibes. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, like, if you like, 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 would you rather, like, would you rather compete in tournaments or become a full time content creator? Um, I'll be content creator. It's because I get to play all kinds of games, not just one. Yeah. And like, the content creation could lead to full time tournaments, just like, I mean, or the content cr- creator could lead to tournaments, just like the. Tournaments can lead to content creation. Yeah. It's like, it goes hand in hand. So, who is your favorite content creator to, you know, watch? Or were to watch? Or if you watch any, who um, is your favorite? Right now, it would probably be um, Hook. The GOAT. 
that's 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 gang right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> what are your like since you since you doing content creation like now like you know you stream and stuff like that now more than like you pretty much have before. Um, what are your goals for you know streaming and stuff like that? I just I just want to play whatever I want like. So if I if I I get the well I'm definitely doing it right now right like I'm mm-hmm. I just boot up I play Strive. And then, I, I get off a of Strive. I boot up Persona. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I'm just doing what I I want to do at the moment. Yeah. So, <laughs> what are what are your next tournaments that you will be at that people can see you at? Next tournament is TNS nine and then Arc Revo. and then possibly Bum's Birthday Bash. Okay. Okay. So like you know that's that's that yeah our grandma is definitely gonna be hype, bro. Who's your who's your DLC character for? Who's the DLC character pick for uh, our grandma? DLC character? Oh, um, I'm thinking I'm thinking it could be Jam. A lot of I'm people want her. Jam. I'm hoping it's Jam. Bro. That's my character, bro. That's my bitch right there. Yeah, that's my bitch so, right there. I love her. She's funny. Yeah, so chances are it's her. Um, can't imagine anybody else. Anybody you would want? I have all the characters I even care about the slightest. Yeah. Honestly, I think I kind of want Jam too. Yeah, whenever, whenever Jam comes out, Amelia is in the toilet. Rip. <laughs> I'm not playing that bitch when Jam comes out, bro. You got me fucked up. Well, um, anything you want to say to the folks? Probably watching on the YouTubes and stuff like that before I let you go. Cause yeah, I mean, I got nothing more to say. Just keep watching the the podcast. This is pretty pretty entertaining thing you're doing. Yeah, I got, I got I Steve. Nice. I got Steve coming up uh, at some point, probably next week. So I'll probably I have to coordinate with him at some point and yeah, um, stuff like for that. For sure. But um, it was nice talking to you, Gangy. I'm in this episode yep. right now, bro. And I'll see you on stream. Good talk. Yes, I'll see you uh, probably later today, honestly. All right, bro. Don't if play Persona Arc till 6 a.m. Take forever. You gonna uh, play Persona yeah. till 6 a.m., bro? Possibly. It has to be done. Also, possibly a Persona run back moment. Well, gotcha, bro. <laughs> well, all right, gang. All right. Yeah.